everyone and welcome back to another Jazzy Wicks candle review. So I'm finally doing the part two of the Rain Sense Pick and Mix Wax Melt review. I will link part one down below just in case you haven't seen it and you're interested in watching it. So the first four scents that I already reviewed from this were Grape Soda, Snickerdoodle, Peachy Bum, and we've got, this one's called Wild Cherry. So those are the ones that are in the part one review. I'll just put them back over there. And now we've got Warm Sugar Donut. We've got the Crispy Marshmallow Treats, which is here. We've got a Funfetti Cookie Dough. And we've got Blueberry Muffin. So there's a little bit more information in part one about what the pick and mix bag is and how much it is. So obviously have a look back on there if you want to go through that again. So the four scents from this one, I'm going to start off with, hmm, I'm going to start off with the crispy marshmallow treats. Why not? So crispy marshmallow treats says a sweet sugary puffed rice smothered in vanilla marshmallow with hints of caramel. So I really liked this one, but I can see it being a bit sickly for people that aren't too keen on that sort of scent. So you get a nice marshmallow scent through on it. You get nice sort of vanilla -y smell. I didn't get any caramel come through on it. This for me was mainly marshmallow and vanilla. So definitely, I know um, in America it's quite a big thing. Like people do have Rice crispy like marshmallow treats. It's, we do have some Rice crispy things here in the UK, but I know it's definitely a bigger thing in America. So definitely if you love going to America and you want a little taste of that here in the UK, this is perfect it's you get that nice crispy marshmallow smell you get the vanilla undertones so i just think in i was burning it in quite a big room and i used the whole pot i definitely think if you're in a smaller room you're going to get away with using it twice so you can cut it in half and have a couple of different goes out of it it didn't last as long as some of the scents that i reviewed from the first four so didn't get quite as many burns out of it but overall it isn't as much of a stronger scent so it's just natural that that would happen. So that's that one. Then we have, let's go on to blueberry muffin because that's next on my list. So an aroma of freshly baked blueberry muffin, top notes of juicy tart blueberries with orange zests, middle notes of butter cake and base notes of vanilla and almond. I loved this one. Absolutely loved it. I love anything. I'm a bit, with, with blueberries, I'm a little bit like I am with the cinnamon. Like anything that's got a blueberry scent to it, I really, really like it. Um, like Yankee Candles Blueberry Scone. I really enjoyed that one. And when they've just done blueberry ones, uh, plain blueberry scents in the past, I've really loved them. It's quite a hard scent to pull off because if you know and you go and buy a punnet of blueberries, they don't really smell of anything, really. Um, it's very hard to pick that up. So they've definitely hit the nail on the head with this one. I really, really enjoyed it. You definitely got that baked blueberry muffin scent. So if you do go to the shop and buy a blueberry muffin, that is what you're smelling with this scent. It's definitely one that I would consider buying in their clamshell that they do rather than just having the little scents, uh, the little scent pots. And like I say, again, with this one, you can cut this in half and get more than one out of the whole tub. So this one did, blueberry muffin did last longer than what the marshmallow treats did. So bear that in mind if you're just trying to think of getting the most for your money. Next, we have warm sugar donut. So this just says a warm, fluffy donut sprinkled with vanilla sugar. Nice and simple. Um, this one wasn't as strong as I thought it would be. Still had a nice sort of donut-y scent and a little bit of that vanilla, but I would have really have liked to have seen it have um, a bit more, maybe a, a dash of cinnamon in there or something like that, just to, just to make those notes pick up a little bit more and be a little bit more noticeable. Um, but that's again, that's just my own opinion because some people hate the smell of cinnamon. But for me, that's I feel like that would have given it more of a, an authentic sort of warm sugar donut scent. Like when you're down along the seafront and you get some just made donuts, they always have sprinkling of cinnamon on them. And that's just what makes me think of the warm donut sort of scent. And lastly, where is it? Funfetti cookie dough. So this says a sweet scent of vanilla blended with fresh sugar cookie. This one for me, I'm going to say was the most disappointing out of all four that I'm reviewing this time. I definitely expected this to be a lot more, um, well, a lot more cookie doughy. I didn't get such a strong scent from it. I don't know if maybe it was just because 
the room I was burning it in was a bit too big. Um, I did use the whole pot and unfortunately I just didn't get much of a strong scent from it. It's I did get some sort of like a vanilla scent from there, but I really wanted that strong sickly cookie dough scent. But again, everyone's opinions are different. I I love my sort of sweet, foody, sickly scents, whereas other people might have got that and if if they changed it and then you bought it, you might think, oh, this is disgusting, it's too sickly. But for me, I would have liked more of a a baked scent sort of thing. Just just so you know, it is that cookie dough scent because there wasn't really anything special about this that would make me distinctively go, that is a cookie dough scent. But that being said, as you can see here on the right, I also got the same scent in their room spray. So this is Funfetti cookie dough. You can see there we've got the same little logo on there. And oh my God, it looks like I haven't used a lot of it, but this is so, so strong. I cannot believe the difference between this and the wax melt. So Funfetti cookie dough, it's 150 ml room and linen spray. It says spritz away and fill your home with fragrance and they're 7 99 but you can see they're quite chunky. You get quite a lot. They're in a plastic bottle, which is nice as well, because then you know they're not going to break before they get to you. It says our bottles are made from a high quality PET plastic, which is 100% recyclable, lightweight and shatterproof. So perfect for the shipping. And this is, again, a sweet scent of vanilla blended and fresh warm sugar cookies. So the same as the wax melt, but I cannot believe how much stronger it was. I absolutely love this spray. It's one of the best room sprays I have ever, ever had. And the thing about it is normally when you buy room sprays or anything like that, it's always like, I don't know if you have this in America, but it's normally like Febreze um, here in the UK. And it's always just like a cotton smell or like a fresh washing sort of smell. But if you're a bit odd like me and you just want the food scents everywhere, this is ideal. I only have to spray it a couple of times and it fills the whole room. So normally I spray it like in my bedroom and I sort of spray it over the, the direction of the bed and the curtains just to sort of freshen it up in there. And oh my God, it is so, so strong. I, I literally just a couple of sprays and that is enough. I think obviously if you're in a smaller room, you're going to get away with even just one that's going to fill that whole room with that scent. So I've not actually used it on my linens. I've just been using it as a room spray at the moment. But it kicks butt. It is really nice. And I would definitely invest in getting another one. I'm just trying to have a look now what other scents they do. So they've got Fiji Sands. They've got Wild Cherry, which I bet is absolutely lovely because the wax melt was nice enough. Um, what other ones have we got here? Oh, that's it's only them three at the moment, and they're all currently out of stock at the moment of filming. So hopefully they'll get them back in again soon. But if you buy one of these, it's going to last you a decent amount of time. Obviously, a little bit. I only spray it in a couple of different rooms, but if you're going to spray it all around your house, then obviously it will go a little bit quicker. So as for an overview of all eight scents and the fun fetty cookie dough, which I forgot to mention in part one, I hadn't used it yet. It was upstairs. I completely forgot. So let's get all of these and let's say in order of all eight, what ones were my favourite. So I'm going to say that the wild cherry was number one, definitely for me. With the blueberry, um, is it muffin or cupcake? I've completely forgotten. Muffin on the second place. Third place out of all of them, I'm probably going to say oh, grape soda. It wasn't one of my favourite scents, but I'm just going purely on how strong it was. It was absolutely lovely. Then I'm going to go snickerdoodle. Then I'm going to go um, with the donut one. Then I'm going to go with the Rice Krispie Treats. And lastly, I'll do the um, cookie dough and then peachy bum last. So there, that's my sort of list of them in order if I had to choose. Definitely recommending out of the how strong the scents were. Definitely re recommending the cherry one, the blueberry muffin and the grape soda. Super, super strong. Snickerdoodle was lovely as well. That's definitely in fourth place. But my other main shining star of this whole lot obviously i didn't get this in the pick and mix um, bag you have to buy this separately so these were all from the pick and mix bag but i bought this on the side as well just because it's so rare that you see anyone doing a room spray that is food scented so i was really happy to get it 
definitely a shining star if if you do buy anything from rain sense definitely chuck a room linen spray in there so as always guys thank you for watching let me know if you do buy anything from rain sense or if you've already tried some from there um, and what scents you've really liked because you might have had some that i haven't and then i'll give them a go and um, as always thank you for watching and i'll get my new reviews out for you soon